Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, F registration. So either um, 1988 or 89, uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 turbo diesel, genuine county station wagon. Um, only two owners knew this one and very, very original. Really hard to find these days, um, especially in this sort of uh, uh, cosmetic condition, shall we say. Uh, not been um, used heavily off-road or anything like that. Um, Six-seater, four individual seats in the back, two in the front and a cubby box. See what else it's got on it. It's completely standard, really. It's got, the, uh, it's got tinted glass, sunroof, alpine lights, all the right bits for a county. Um, it's got the correct... Uh, county wheels on at the time side step on the on the driver's side the only thing it's got different on it is a um a front mounted tow hitch on the front bumper it's got the factory steering guard underneath it uh, it's got passenger side step as well rear mud flaps rear step just let me see if that comes up yes it does um tow pack with twin electrics rear mounted spare wheel it's one of the nicer 90 counties, um, nice, nicer looking 90 counties I've seen for a long, long time. Um, one, one of the best kept ones, it's done 120-ish thousand miles, and say it is a, a two-owner car from new. Um, right, let's go around and pick out the good bits and bad bits. Around the front end, it all looks really stock and standard and nice, and just what you expect on one of this age, um, with this sort of provenance, really pleasant. I think the paint up here is all original. Um, a couple of dirty marks on actually, just from where we've uh, put it out in the rain the other day. That's, um, they will come off. There we go. Good use for a handkerchief. Um, so yeah, just a couple of sort of minor sort of um, dirty marks on there from when we've had it out in the uh, in the rain and stuff. Um, looking down the near side, it all looks really straight and clean. There's a slight um, parking dink in the near side door, but no more than that. But certainly around the front edge of the near side front wing, it's lovely. Um, Possibly had a bit, bit, bit of paintwork on the near side um, modesty on near side uh, eyebrow because I can just sort of see a bit of a uh, bit of black showing through there. Originally, it would have had colour coded ones, so they've colour coded them again. And there's a slight scuff on the front of the near side front uh, eye, plastic eyebrow. Um, up here, it's had it's actually had both sides of the uh, the scuttle redone with new uh, new metal. The new the um, replacement sections have been put in. Paint match isn't absolutely perfect. Um, but at least they're, uh, they're nice and solid and strong and all very, very good. Um, a post is all good. Down here, it's just lost a bit of its paint down here. Possibly had a slight repair down the bottom there as well. Uh, I think they've repaired this side, but not the other side, just uh, below the below the bottom hinge there. Um, near side modesty cover is all good. Near side door, there's a bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up here on the top of the near side door in the usual place there. But it all looks pretty good along the bottom edge. Just a little bit of reaction here and a little bit of paint loss just below the bottom hinge there. All the county decals are all in place. Inside, it's absolutely lovely. It's really, really well, um, well preserved. The seats are fantastic. All the carpets are still in place. Um, just very, very good indeed. Uh, the rear is all nice. I suspect the sunroof, as with all of these, probably leaks very slightly um, as the, uh, the headlining is sort of very slightly sort of saggy a little bit. But um, that comes with the territory on these, I'm afraid. I don't know why they've bought a fitting sunroof to them, but there you go. Um, centre cubby box is all good, dash is nice, it's got the original period radio cassette which all works. Um, door frame on the passenger side isn't wonderful, it, it is hold at the bottom, uh, so the frame on the, on the passenger door isn't brilliant. Still got a bit of life left in it yet mind you, but um, the bottom of the frame is starting to, uh, starting to get a bit ragged and holy shall we say. Um, near side rear wing is all... Uh, Really, really nice. It's very, very good indeed. Um, and it's very good up on the, uh, the near, side, um, near side rear quarter up here. Alpine lights all nice. Around the tail end, very good indeed. Cross members obviously have one or two minor patches on it here and there. Um, but it all looks to be in good shape. Mud flaps look nice and new. Tailgate itself looks um, very good. Possibly a slight sort of um, parking dink just there in the back of the tailgate, but otherwise and certainly in the back here, it's absolutely lovely. Um, all the four seats are in good shape. Just great, really good. So headlining is slightly saggy, but um, so it does come with the territory on these, I'm afraid. Um, bottom of the tailgate, again, not as bad as the passenger door, but it is starting to uh, show its age a little bit on the bottom of the frame. Not bad, really. Still got years of life left in that, but there is quite a big hole up here around the, um, around the striker plate. 
but that doesn't really affect its, um, its operation too much. Well, not at all, really. Uh, looking down the offside, again, really clean, bright, shiny. The only thing I can see is the offside modesty cover is rather crinkled, um, especially the back part of it. I suspect someone's tried to jack it up rather wrongly. Um, offside quarter, a little bit of paint loss just on the bottom of the offside um, uh, tub tub strip uh, but otherwise fantastic yeah just the uh, the offside modesty cover here is a bit crinkled in so might, in fact, say bend it out a little bit a um, little bit crinkled there otherwise offside door has got some electrolytic reaction up here just around the uh, underneath the window there but otherwise good bit of reaction on the bottom of the door there um, it's had again it's had the offside uh, scuttle corner redone with new metal and uh, all looks to have been done quite nicely, although the paint match isn't absolutely perfect. The only thing they haven't done down here, someone sort of knocked it out to do it, but um, um, there's a small hole just there underneath the, um, underneath the hinge that needs to be filled in, but uh, the back of it all feels nice and solid. That's all good, it's just uh, cosmetic, that. Um, but uh, you might like to have that done. Um, offside front wing is fantastic. Tiny bit of paint loss on just on the back of the... Um, offside uh, front eyebrow. Let's go back to the driver's door. Let's look inside first of all. Again, driver's seat's fantastic. Dash is all great. It's got the proper leather rim steering wheel, everything. Carpet's on the driver's side is a bit grubby, just from say we're on a farm here and we always get it muddy, but um, it's actually still in very, very good shape. One of the better uh, original county interiors I've ever seen, as I say. Driver's door's got a hole up here in the top of the frame, just there. Um, and the bottom of the frame, is again not not brilliant in fact a lot of that has disappeared it's not got up to the hinge yet but um that's going to need replacing probably in the next uh, 18 months or two years i would have thought it's not wiggling on the on the hinges yet but um it will do in time but uh still got some life left in it yet should we say um that's about it my name's simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Um, we take part exchanges. We take debit card and Visa and MasterCard credit cards um, with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. We can ship anywhere in the world, certainly the UK and Europe, obviously at a price, but we can do it. Um, that's it. End. <laughs>